Astronauts cut far back on their scheduled time for sample collection. Finally, even with a half-hour extension of the moonwalk, time ran out, and they headed for their home away from home, the lamp. A new problem cropped up late today when a slight leak was discovered in Mitchell's spacesuit. It's not believed serious enough to cut short tomorrow morning's walk, scheduled for four and a quarter hours, or possibly a bit longer. However, there is talk that the astronauts, impatient to get started on that second walk, might begin it as much as an hour or more before the scheduled 5.38 a.m. starting time. Our live, continuous color coverage of the walk is presently due to begin at 5.30 Eastern time, but will be moved ahead if the walk starts early. The fifth and sixth man ever to walk on the moon, Alan Shepard and Edgar Mitchell, are back in their space capsule and presumably asleep after a strenuous and successful day. There's a time of stress before landing, with 10 minutes to go early this morning, an onboard computer in the lunar landing vehicle Antares decided that at the time of decision, it would abort the mission and send the craft back into moon orbit. Ground controllers worked fast and decided the landing could be made and told Shepard and Mitchell how to tell the computer to ignore its own conclusions. The craft landed neatly on a slight incline. Then there were some communications problems, but finally the moonwalks began. ABC's Jules Bergman reports. After an incredible pinpoint landing just 60 feet from their target point, Al Shepard and Ed Mitchell began a marathon moonwalk that lasted four hours and 47 minutes. And for almost the entire time, a small live color TV camera showed them at work. Al is on the surface, and it's been a long way, but we're here. Take a look at Palm I take a look at Cone Crater, I should say, which is right where it should be. And it's a very impressive sight. And Terry, this is Houston. You are go for two-man EVA. Over. Yes, it looks as though we landed in a fairly rough place. Okay, if you want to stand clear, we'll uh, play the antenna. There we go. Shepard and Mitchell begin a two-mile hike to Cone Crater, filming and gathering rock and soil samples on the way. Among the highlights, rolling boulders the size of autos from its rim down to the crater floor for seismic and soil tests. After that, blast off to rejoin their command module and begin the three-day journey home. This is Jules Bergman, ABC News, reporting.
ABC will bring you live coverage of the second moonwalk by astronaut Shepard and Mitchell tomorrow morning, possibly as early as 4.10 Eastern Time.